worst thing just happened. Chris just hit a motorcyclist. I'm like freaking out right now. in Florida one of the tips that we have is that we often get a not so magical hotel on the first night because that's all we're gonna do is crash and we got here and we crashed and it's, it's not too bad we're at a La Quinta and they make attempts we have a purple wall that's nice of them and Lumpy's welcome, which is nice. You know, it's not too bad, but uh. When we got here last night, kids were pulling the fire alarm and driving the front guy, desk guy crazy. I mean, it only happened once. It would have nope. been bad if it happened. Twice. It happened twice. twice. It happened twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that would have been bad. But uh, but now we're gonna go collect some necessary uh, water fun having things. Snorkels. And at snorkels and the like, boogie boards and what have you. And uh, get over to our Airbnb down to the Keys so that we can live the beach life. Beach that, life. that is the plan. So, yeah, let's go. All right, let's yeah. Look, it's the American terminal. We, we haven't made it far at all. Oh, yay. Apparently, this has been our tour of Florida. We made it to the La Quinta. We made, wait, we ate the chicken place last night. Pollo Tropical. Chicken on the grill. I don't even know if they use that advertisement style anymore. Everybody's like, what are you like, dating? Yeah, you dated yourself, perhaps. But it, it was good. I dated Ish. myself a few times. I was going to say it was pretty good. So far, it's been a bit of a nostalgia trip with Chris. He's been telling me about what Florida used to be like. Used to have hurricanes. I think it still has hurricanes. Not today. Not today. Oh, no, not today. All right, let's keep going past the American... Terminal and to a Starbucks because uh, no matter where we are that that tends to be where we start We got a Starbucks and now we're headed over to the Super Wally world uh, To get us some snorkel stuff uh, driving through Miami neighborhoods, it's it's just starting to rain, but the skies are blue So we're hoping the rain doesn't stay long, but it looks like it's just gonna sprinkle and go. This has been a Interesting little drive too We've only got lost in like a million times. Went and back to the airport like four or five yeah, times every, trying to get to a Starbucks. Every There's like five Starbucks in the airport. In the airport. <laughs> so if you're navving from a Star, to a Starbucks and you happen to be near the airport, just pick the furthest one away and go to that. <laughs> like you'll find one on the way to that. It was so frustrating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it was ridiculous. But uh, yeah, next up, Bollywood. We made it out of the Walmart, and I would have given you film in there, except for it felt like it was a harrowing experience. Because, oh man, let me just say California. <laughs> yeah, we needed that. Uh, California is quite different from Florida in that um, six feet of difference is less of a. Uh, suggestion or mandate and more of a yeah they don't give it at around wear their mask around their chins yeah mm -hmm. they don't care you know that meme where it shows like you know the people who believe in science people who don't believe in science yeah. people who don't understand science and yeah. people who believe in magic yeah they all believe in magic they all believe in magic but not the good kind so we came out here and we sanitized the crap out of our hands and sort of my face I don't know if you're supposed to put sanitizer on your face, but I felt the need. And um, so yeah, so we finished Walmart. We didn't get everything we wanted out of it. They didn't have boogie boards. And I just, yeah, we also didn't get a dog carrier that we needed to get this for home. That's gonna be, we're gonna try to order that from Amazon and have it sent to one of our hotels. That's a whole other bubble we have to try to figure out. Um, but. We're gonna try to figure out if we can get some boogie boards elsewhere along the way to the Keys. Are we going to the Keys now? Uh, we're gonna go get boogie boards and we're gonna get keys, like we'll stop at a big five or something like that. Yeah. 
How does one get boogie boards? Like, 1-800 boogie boards? I just assumed they'd have them because it's Miami. Academy Sports and Outdoors. Yeah. Academy. But Walmart is done. We are done with Walmart. Also, I've realized Florida hair is a thing. Like, the, the humidity is just kind of like making it up. Chicken. What did we do? Lucifer just knows. There's a chicken just chilling here in Florida like at everywhere. Mickey D's. It's like everywhere we go. I know. For some reason, chickens are a thing. You are hanging out with Lucifer. Chicken. Thinks it's really interesting. The worst thing just happened. Chris just hit a motorcyclist. I'm like freaking out right now. Um, he was turning left. He thought he could go. A motorcyclist like hit him, I guess. The police are here now and I am freaking out. talking to the Miami Police Department and explaining um, what happened. Yeah. Here he comes. Oh, or not. Oh, this was not part of our vacation plans. What's up? Uh, see, the car has registration. Oh, well, uh, let's hope. Chris and I were just talking about how glad he was that the cop that is here, the Miami cop, is black. Yeah, it's, it's just a fear. And uh, I'm not saying that there's no way that a black car, cop can be a bad cop, but at least I hopefully won't find a black cop who's like, I hate black people. Hopefully. I mean, it's not a guarantee. I've met several white cops like that in my life, so... <laughs> So they have my passport. I am obviously an official witness, witness and um, they're getting everything down. And they, uh, they took the dude like to him. the hospital, and we're there's no um, injury to our car. And I hope the other guy is okay. He apparently offered Chris three hundred dollars just to make this all go away, which I don't understand why. Um, other than maybe something shady. And I don't mean shady, like obviously something, but he was maybe yeah. driving for Uber, so why would he not, like, okay, so if he was undocumented, I would understand, but if he's driving for Uber, why would he be undocumented? Because you have to have a license and insurance for that. So, so I'm, I just have a question about why he would have made that offer. I just, I, look, I, I get not going through insurance and stuff like that and if we were somewhere else maybe but you know the problem is is if I go sure here's three hundred dollars um like he asked for uh I have no guarantees that okay and those police that pulled up right right after right he said then. that like yeah. right after he said that won't be like oh yeah yeah that three hundred dollars well that doesn't freaking matter what matters is the fact that you know insurance and all this other stuff right plus and then you're just paying out three hundred dollars makes it seem like like Throughout you, all this thing, you I, are guilty. Yeah, I don't feel like I. Again, I think I was able to turn left on green there. Definitely did not see this guy because he was like right he behind somebody else who was turning left. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I'm not saying that I'm not at fault. It may be that the rules are at fault. I still haven't been able to get anybody to explain to me if left on the green was wrong. Right. I've asked 
a highway patrol person, a police officer, a security person, and a random person on a moped who didn't speak English. And they're not saying whether or not left on green is acceptable? Nobody answers the question. The guy, mm. the, the highway patrol guy did not want to be there. He was just like, whatever it takes to get me out of here immediately. Yeah. And then guy was like, oh my God, Miami uh, uh, City Police are going to take care of this. It's going to take forever. Like, he was not happy. <laughs> uh, they did you know, take like 10 minutes to show up, but they showed up. Uh, and as soon as they did, he walked away. He wouldn't talk to the guy. Gone. The guy had to ask him. He's like, do you even know the name of the other guy? And he's like, yeah, I got a picture Raul. of his ID. And he goes, can I, can I have that? <laughs> you know. And then as soon as he gave that, he jumped in his car and booked it. Yeah, he he's out. I, I get it. If you're, if you're a policeman in Florida, you probably have to deal with Florida man so often Florida that this man. is so uninteresting. Oh, my God. <laughs> have we become Florida man? No, the other guy was Florida man. Oh. Florida man. We had an interaction with Florida man. Who? No, who? Florida, we 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 are Florida man. I, um, so I don't know. Again, I it's don't hard know. to tell if we are Florida man or if that was Florida man. But like, either way, we have had an interaction with Florida man. Either way, whatever happens, I'm going to explain to insurance what I know of this situation, and be like, if you guys want to fight it, fight it. If not, I understand that I'm going to have a rate hike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We still know where boogie bards are. We're going to they're go. They're right behind us. They're right behind us. We're going to go get them after this. And, and then we're going to still go to the Florida Keys. And it's still going to be amazing. This Ever since this happened, it's been raining. It has been raining. It's been sunny. Other than that, as soon as this happened, it's like, oh. Uh, sadness for your vacation. Mm -hmm. The sky is crying. Okay. Back to Sad Please Life. Five hours later. The police are finally done with us. Chris did get a ticket for failing to yield. They said they're not going to actually make any sort of ruling on the accident. That'll be up to the insurance to do. And Chris keeps saying, he's like, listen, I just, if it's my fault, it's my fault. I understand. I didn't see him. He was so, but it is what it is. We hope he's okay. Chris keeps talking to his friend and like, please pass along my, my, Apologies, and I hope he's okay. My, my insurance will cut him a check. I just want him to be okay. Which we do. Totally. I'm sorry earlier I was like all... Saying stuff about him being shady. But it is weird to me that he suddenly just wanted $300 to make it go away. Okay, maybe I just think the world is shady. But anyway, we're done with that. We went in and got some boogie boards from Dix. And Chris is doing one more... Aaron to Target, and then he wants to eat, and then we'll go down to the Florida Keys. Listen, this is not new if you've been watching our channel at all. It is always one thing after another, after another, after another, before we finally can get going. Um, but, uh, so this is how we roll. This is not a surprise. It'll be dark by the time we get to the Keys. I did expect, I mean, we can't check into our, our Airbnb till four anyway. At this point, it's probably gonna be more like 8.30 is my my guess. We'll see what actually ends up happening. Like, what is it gonna be, 10? It is what it is. I'm in Florida. You know what? Here's the other thing. The humidity is fun. I was scared of it. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be humid. But humid reminds me of Mexico. It reminds me of traveling. It's this tingling of the new, the unexpected, the this is not your real life. So I'm actually really digging the humidity. So just even driving around in, I haven't even told you about this car. Chris has some executive fancy schmancy club through his work. Uh, and so we're in some sort of a Mustang with, uh, it's a convertible and it does this cute little thing. And I know this is not like fancy to anybody else, but it does this thing with the, I'll show you, hold on, with the door where on the ground it shows a light and it looks like a Mustang. And I think it's really fun. And, uh, and I'll show you later but the, the actual top down part is really fun. It's been raining in Miami, so we have the top up for now. I was gonna put on the fake eyelashes uh, that I finally got after all the advertisements had done, 
had uh, their way with me, let's say I do blame TikTok and one specific creator. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, and my husband said uh, my eyelashes would fall off with the top down. <sighs> so I decided to uh, be sans those fake eyelashes for this trip. And uh, let's go with the top down on our way to the Florida Keys and make the actual travel you know, the actual driving part, part of the fun. And so that is the plan for the rest of the day. Enjoy top down when it's not raining, travel. <sighs> All right, here's to the drive. So we're finally done with the police officer. And of course, look, it stopped raining. Like in the moment we were done with all that stuff, it just like immediately stopped raining. But right behind me, this right here, that green light, whoops, that green light right there is the one that I took a left on. Uh, I shouldn't have been taking a left because uh, I needed to yield. Uh, somebody else was taking a left in front of me, so it seemed like I, I could. Um, my bad. Uh, so I got a $170 ticket to pay for that, and another guy got hurt. But hopefully my insurance will take care of him well. I got his information, gave him my phone number. I'm gonna call, follow up with him, make sure that he's doing all right. Uh, I did talk to one of his friends, a guy named Oscar. We talked a little bit. Uh, guys from Cuba and uh, I want to make sure that he's doing all right especially because you know I, I'm betting that you know he doesn't have all the resources that I would have if it was suddenly me uh, in another state dealing with this kind of stuff so we'll give it a shot Chris's food has decided, we've decided on Shake Shack because uh, that is a gluten-free option according to the internets. We're not sure if they have gluten-free buns or if it's just a lettuce wrap, but either way, he is for it. Are you for it? I am for it. I've never had Shake Shack. I've heard quite a to-do and hullabaloo, uh, is that a thing? Hubbub. Hullabaloo. Uh, hullabaloo. About it. Shook like a Shake Shack. So uh, I'll let you know if I think it lives up to the hullabaloo. I think I'm old. Yes. Yeah, this is, no. I'm saying old things. Um, or not. Maybe I was just telling yeah. somebody about the story back in my day here in Florida. Yeah. And they go, when was that? And I was like, oh, 26 years ago. Oh. And you know what? You weren't a zygote. No. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to feed the Chris so that he's in a better mood for the drive. Yeah, you know, after uh, killing Florida man and, uh, you know, losing my ATM card, which might be in my pants, I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, but still, then, we don't know where it is. And then finding stuff and then not finding it because yeah. it was, like, not there, you know. He's man, lost a few things. That's frustrating. Yeah. And then, But I got some Midol, so I'm feeling better there. And I got some bobby pins so my hair won't fly away. Um, so, and I got a boogie board. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier, but yes. So, I mean, with boys. all that, there should be, it should be looking up. I shouldn't be so frustrated. I think I'm getting a little hypoglycemic. But something to remember here, the airport gas, the diesel is $1.89. Everywhere else, it's almost 3 bucks. So Airport gas is beta. Buy your gas by the airport, folks. I know it seems counterintuitive, but... All right, we're going to get our Shake Shack on. looks pretty good and so far Chris is impressed that is a tasty burger yeah and Can you I have some of your soda so I can wash down you, this you tasty burger have some of your own soda yeah the bun is actually tasty too the uh, the gluten-free bun is not just like you know rice flour put together with water it actually has some flavor to it it's like seasoned it's good nice so success excellent we didn't get a shake which seems kind of wrong but you know I'm still Looking forward to my burger.
This guy's got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are, standing in a row. Oh, oh, big ones, small ones. Oh look, that one's as big as your head. I thought they were mangoes, but they'd be very large mangoes. Pretty sure that's a lovely bunch of coconuts. I'm just, yeah. Let's pay attention. Well, Chris and I decided to make a travel channel. I knew immediately it wasn't going to be the glitz and glamour of the travelers that we see on YouTube. It was going to be a whole lot of what not to do. Um, by necessity, because we are who we are. And, um, and that's okay because I've always lived that way. I've always been like with my siblings, I made all the mistakes so that I could tell them about it and they wouldn't have to. Um, so, that's how, that's how we're traveling. And uh, there's a billion mistakes that we've made already thus far on this trip. Um, I just want to bring up that one of the mistakes that we've made is... Un, un, and this is not like a purpose, but we are driving down to the Keys in the dark. So we're not able to see all the beauty beside us. Um, we can kind of tell that it's ocean, but not completely, and that's kind of sad. It's not a big deal, but it's noticeable. Come see it. Yeah. And we're not going to get to our Airbnb until later. We're going to say, I initially said 8.30. It's going to be more like 8.45, closer to 9. Listen, this is the what not to do. Get to your Airbnb late. Get there with plenty of time, okay? I'm teaching you. You're welcome. Also, it would be good if you didn't hit anything with your car. I didn't mean to. But it's helpful for on vacation. You don't hit people with your car. He's on his way back. Listen, don't tell him I said this. It's just helpful. So, after a really long drive, we, uh, we've made it. We're out here on the streets. We just found uh, some parking. But uh, hopefully we are able to park here. I'm not actually quite too sure. There's some permit signs around. We'll check that out here in a minute. But let's go check out the place, huh? This is by Vacasa. Uh -huh, it works. All right. Oh, it's cute. It seems very much Key West. Look, look at Yeah, we're here. Lucifer. Your vacation home. Our vacation. Your vacation home. Welcome to Florida. Oh, that's right. I forgot that we were like, we're doing the one with the hot tub. Is it hot? Yeah. Oh, 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 baby. I'm doing this tonight. Yeah. Like, without yeah. a doubt. Looking yeah, over yeah, the yeah. rainy. I forgot. I forgot right. about you. Yes. I'm really excited. Kat booked the, the Airbnb with the hot tub, and I was like. For him. <laughs> was like, it was all for him. I just want to be able to lay in a hot tub every night. The whole yeah. time we're here, just yeah. every night. And, the hot and, tonight. and it's raining. It's like the perfect time to like have the rain on the outside mm -hmm. and the hot tub. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get our stuff. Yeah, let's go get our stuff yeah. and then get in the hot tub. Oh, no, I'm going to get food and then we get in the hot tub. Yeah. We'll eat. And then we'll get in the God, there's yeah. so many things between me and the hot tub. <laughs> Can I get a hot tub? <laughs> yes, I can. And it's not chilling in the hot tub. I got... Lumpy's in the bedroom. What's up, Lumps? You want to go to a hot tub? He doesn't. He doesn't want to go in a hot tub. He and his cat. I haven't decided yet. I'm still deciding whether or not it's worth the wet. Yeah, I told her we got a dryer. This place comes with a dryer. It does. It's really cool. Oh, so what do you think about the uh, the Urbane Bay Baby so far? It's better than I expected, and um, I think it's going to be yeah, me too. 
I love this place. This is this is a very nice place, and it's very nice that it has a hot tub. It's like a one requirement. Yes, that was that was that was the one thing. I was like, can we get an Airbnb with a hot tub, <laughs> please? And I forgot. I forgot all about that uh, request. So I was just like, and okay, I well. Up the bedroom door. It's like. And, and then remember this, Chris? Did you remember this? I was like, oh. You forgot, you forgot food just so you could have longer in the hot Yeah, no, I was gonna go get something to eat and I was like, no, no eat. Hot tub. Hot tub. She couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. There's no way. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> it is really nice. I'm waiting for it to get even warmer though. This is like barely as nice. This, this is we're at 98 so far from uh, 93 or whatever it was to 98. I want to get 94. warmed out. Yeah. I want to get too hot. Well, it's getting there. Uh, <laughs> it's not getting too hot. No, it's getting warmer. It's getting warmer. This yeah. is nice. I'm being pushed off the back of the wall by the nets. Uh, I, mean, I can lean on them. I can also sit on them. Yeah. Just lean on the jets. Oh, hot tub. Hot tub. Yeah. I didn't plan well. I'm dripping. It's carpet. Apparently, there's towels right there, though. So, uh, so we leap. We grab the towel. Oh, we run back out. Like, like, like nothing ever happened. I hope Vacasa never looks at this video.